Hey, everybody. <coughs> oh, okay. I'm manifesting. Hey, everybody. Welcome, Welcome back to Intuitive Safe Haven. My name is Rose, and this is the channel where we do makeup and mindset. Wait, what did we do? This is the channel where we do makeup and mindset. We do tarot card pulls and we also do manifestation talks. So if you are into those type of things, please consider subscribing and watching some of my previous videos. On today's video, since it's long overdue for my channel, I figured I would do another pick a card. So <laughs> I figured I would start doing one every week, especially now that October's coming up. I am also going to be rocking some crazy makeup looks and you know doing makeup and mindset in Halloween themes so stick around for that if you haven't already please follow me on Instagram and I am also on TikTok and Twitter so please feel free to follow me on all those social medias now in today's to pick a card video um, I have laid out two stones or crystals I should say because that's what they are anyways so I have picked out two crystals that I am going to be displaying on the screen shortly and the reason I picked these two crystals is because the first one you're gonna be looking at is the clear quartz and this one is basically representing clarity and purity so we want to get clarity and purity in our week coming up to this week and also I have put a citrine right next to it because you know what we are always in the mood to manifesting and you know gaining material things and pursuing our ambitions so basically that is why I put citrine there now I'm gonna have the card shuffled and we're gonna pull out three cards because this is gonna be a three card reading on what to expect for the upcoming week and we're gonna get into the reading so let's go to it All right, so now that we have the cards pulled, let's start on with the first one. This is the Hangman Reversed. And with the Hangman Reversed, what this is telling me about your week coming up is that, you know, there are gonna be some choices and a lot of things are gonna be put into perspective before you have to make a decision. The only problem is, is that it's really difficult making this decision. So you're gonna be kind of indecisive on certain things that you want to do or have to make a decision between for this following week. The five of arms, what it's telling me is that you will be facing some sort of hostility or maybe perhaps a loss. I'm not sure in which direction this is going to go. It could be finances, it could be a loss of items, it could be anything, but you will be experiencing some loss that is kind of going to have you feeling a little butt hurt. But I'm not really seeing anything major in that. The last card that we're going to be getting into is the star card. And with this card, what it's telling me as far as your week is going, even though you are going to be dealing with some indecisiveness and as well as some hostility and conflict in between there, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So overall, I feel like after everything that you may be experiencing at the beginning of the week, the end of the week will end up in a new sense of hope and relief as to happy that your week is over. Um, so it's just a little bumpy week. Um, I'm not really picking up on anything major, but yeah, so this is pretty much a week reading. So if you guys like the video and it resonated, please feel free to subscribe to my other videos with other content in it. Also, follow me on all of my social medias. And, you know, 
I wish you guys luck on this week coming up. And yeah, we about to manifest that clarity. We about to manifest, you know, a great first week of the month. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video.